Hello students today we are going to continue with chapter 5 acids bases and salts we studied some topics of this chapter in the previous sessions the topics that we have already studied are acids and their types properties of acids uses of various acids bases and their types properties of bases and also the uses of some important bases and today we are going to study about indicators the types of indicators in detail now what indicators are can you all recall we discussed in the previous class that we should not touch the chemicals or taste them then how do we come to know that the given substance is acid or a base this is why we use indicators let us define what indicators are an indicator is a substance which when added to a solution indicates whether the solution is acidic or basic by changing its color there are many indicators available but in case if the color of the solution does not change after adding an indicator it is possible that the substance is neither acidic nor basic such substances which are neither acidic nor basic are called as neutral substances let us discuss the types of indicators b broadly classify indicators into two groups natural indicators and synthetic indicators natural indicators are the indicators which are prepared from natural sources some examples of natural indicators are turmeric litmus china rose red cabbage and some more synthetic indicators are the indicators which are prepared in factories using artificial substances some examples of synthetic indicators are phenolphthalein and methyl orange let us discuss the natural indicators in detail the first important natural indicator and most commonly used indicator is litmus litmus actually is a dye that is extracted from lichens can you recall what are lichens we studied about lichens in chapter 1 nutrition in plants lichens are the organisms which show symbiosis between fungi and algae it is lichens which help us to derive this dye and prepare this indicator litmus changes its color in acid and basic medium and litmus is available in both solution form and also in the form of strips of paper it it comes in two colors red litmus and blue litmus let us see how litmus changes color in the presence of different solutions here is a figure which where we can observe that a liquid is being tested with the help of a red litmus paper we also have another figure here where we can see that the liquid is being tested with the help of a blue litmus paper in figure 1 we observe that the color of red litmus paper changes to blue if the paper of the color of the paper changes from red to blue this indicates that the solution is a base and if the color of the blue litmus paper changes to red the solution is an acid let us understand another important natural indicator that is turmeric turmeric is widely used in our kitchens but how do we use it as an indicator we mix turmeric with water and prepare a paste out of it
This paste can then be applied on paper and then dried off. And thin strips can be prepared from that paper which can be used as indicators. Turmeric solution changes its color to brick red in the presence of a basic solution. Another important natural indicator is China Rose. China Rose is dipped in warm water and left for some time. Then we obtain a colored solution from it. This solution is used as an indicator to test the other substances. If the color of the China Rose solution changes to red in the presence of a liquid, that liquid is an acid. And if the color of the China Rose solution changes to green, the solution will be a base. Let us now discuss some synthetic indicators. Phenophthalene is a synthetic indicator which is colorless, but it changes its color to magenta when it reacts with a base. This figure helps us to understand the same. Another important synthetic indicator is methyl orange. The color of methyl orange as the name indicates is orange but it shows color change in both bases and acids. If the color of methyl orange changes from orange to red, the liquid that it reacts with is acidic in nature. And if the color of methyl orange changes from orange to yellow, the liquid is basic. This figure also helps us to understand the same. We have studied about the important indicators and the color changes they show. Here this table will help us to summarize the same. Blue litmus changes to red in an acidic medium and does not show any color change in a basic medium. Red litmus changes to blue in the presence of a base and does not show any color change in an acidic medium. China Rose solution is pink in color but it changes to green when it reacts with a base and changes to magenta in the presence of an acid. Turmeric is yellow in color. It does not show color change in an acidic medium but it changes to brick red when it reacts with a basic solution. Methyl orange is orange in color and it changes to red when it reacts with a base sorry with an acid and changes to yellow when it reacts with a base. Phenophthalene is colorless and it shows magenta color when it reacts with a basic solution. This is all about indicators and the color changes they show in acid and basic mediums. Hello students, after studying about acids, bases and indicators, I wish to present a simple activity which will help us to understand the concept better. For the activity, I have here a solution which is colorless and here we have a paper which was white and now it is yellow because it has been painted with a coat of turmeric paste. Let us start with this activity. I take this earbud and dip this into this colorless solution and try making a design over this paper. With the help of the solution, we can write or make a design. Can you observe any change? Yes. We can see that the color of turmeric
turmeric is gradually changing to brick red. So, can you recall something? What did we study about this in the video? We studied about indicators that when turmeric reacts with a base, the color changes to brick red. So, we can conclude that turmeric as an indicator changes to brick red when it comes in contact with a basic solution. This solution is actually a soap solution. Can you also recall when we studied about bases that soap or soap solution detergents that we use in our daily lives are basic in nature. This activity put, will help you to understand this concept better. Thank you and have a nice day.